How you guys doing? Mike here. Welcome to my $100,000 in sales uh, video. Uh, it's a milestone, it's a celebration, and what I want to do for you guys is uh, go over some of the stats, uh, some of the, uh, the details, numbers, uh, basically pretty much the whole history of my Merch by Amazon account to give you the, the real life preview of, uh, of somebody who's been doing this that's most likely more like you than, than uh, other people that you see uh, online who are, you know, hitting $100,000 in sales, you know, in a month or two. Uh, I'm going to talk about the progress and, and basically uh, maybe go over some of the mistakes that I've made or what I think are mistakes and then what I wish I had done differently. But anyways, it happened. As you can see here, $100,000 in sales. Uh, it's actually closer to probably 103,000 if, if we're including the UK and Germany, uh, but, but we're not. We're just looking at the, the state's sales and uh, that's what it is. Officially $100,043.60. $6,121 total sales, but in the states just over $6,000. So this basically sets me up for the next tier up, which is uh, going to be the 8,000. And uh, let's get into this. I'm, I'm gonna go over some of the, the numbers, some of the products, and, and basically what I've learned over time. So before I get into any of those um, details when it comes to you know what products are selling, uh, these are all the analytics uh, from day one. So basically, when I started and, and this whole thing took about uh, three years. Uh, what I would say is my probably major mistakes were made right at the beginning. This is when uh, you know I, I had the account but I was getting as you can see here first month four sales, four sales, three sales and then I was getting 10 sales. This is month four and this is when I was actually tearing up and I can't remember all the tiers now but I think I started with 10 and then it goes up to 25 or something like that. So basically, in my opinion, what I had done was pretty much wasted half a year. And this is when uh, merch was a lot less competitive. I would say that the percentage of copycats uh, was probably at an all time low at this time. So basically any product that I was listing that anybody was listing was, you know, viewed as original. And, uh, and and this is when you would actually kind of generate most of that income and, and most of the profits. So this is when, where I would say I made the most mistakes. I should have just bought myself out of the out of that tier, should have ordered a bunch of shirts, should have given them away, whatever the case was, but I didn't. I was actually trying to get sales naturally. And, and that really held me back because uh, by the time I had tiered up to, let's say, 100, uh, you know, th this growth here, this, this progress would have been a lot faster. And, uh, and as you can see here, I mean, there was a big spike about a year, um, let's say a year and a half after I started. And, and I hit my best month with uh, 580 products sold. This was December of 2018. And, uh, you know, total royalties were about 1500 bucks. It was actually 1900 bucks because uh, even though it says here uh, 1367, uh, because a lot of products were shipped after uh, December and then those royalties were included in my January check. So, so that for that month, I, I remember getting it was close to 2000 bucks. Anyways, after that, it, it, the sales just went down. And then, of course, we're here now with April being at a zero. And, and I think March was significantly lower due to COVID-19. And, uh, and May also, you know, having 86 sales last month, uh, just simply because not all of my products are still available for sale. I would say a, a very low percentage of those uh products are available for sale right now. So anyways, this is what the chart looks like. This is kind of like uh, the, the reality of it. I And when it comes to my work ethic and, and actually putting in work into merch specifically, I would say from here to, to about 
I would say even, let's say halfway through 2019, it, it, I was extremely committed. And I'm talking about uh, having the, the maximum number of products listed for sale, uploading uh, the, the max number of products that I basically could. That I was always ready for the next tier up uh, because I would have products saved in draft. And then when the, the sales started going down, I, I thought to myself, you know what, this is not going to explode. This is not going to go up, uh, you know, exponentially that my sales. So I might as well kind of uh, start investing time into into other things. Of course, I did. And uh, I think right now it, it's basically uh, paid off and it was a good decision. So. Let's see what we have here. So the, again, for anybody who doesn't have Pretty Merch or Pretty Merch, Merch Pro, uh, this is basically what it what it looks like. These are some of the statistics that you'll see. So th this everything that I'm about to talk about are averages and and stats. <clears throat> excuse me for for the the duration of my account. So from day one until today, uh, on average, five sales a day. On average about 160 sales a month, which is, I guess, a solid month. Record days, 44. So there was one day when I hit 44 sales in one day. And that was that hit $100 in royalties for that one day, which was amazing. Uh, record month, and again, that, that was December 2018, 580 sales. And like I said here, about 1400 bucks, which it, it did turn out to be about 1900 once the year was over and once all the products uh, were shipped. Unique product sold. So this is where actually uh, stats get interesting for me because I'm at a tier 6,000 right now and I, I have pretty much 6,000. I don't have 6,000 products listed, uh, but pretty close. And out of those 6,000 products, and keep in mind that I've actually gone through a bunch. And, and when I say bunch, I'm talking about a few thousand that have gone up and come down due to no sales. And out of all of those, so let's say if I had to guess, right now I have 6,000 live. I've probably taken down, I don't know, over the last three years, I would probably say, let's say 3,000. That's a fair estimate. It could be more, most likely it's not less. And out of all of those products, 730 have sold. So that's 12%. So that means 80, what, 86, 87% of all the products that I've ever listed have not sold. And, and I think that's probably the most important point that anybody should take away from this when, when it comes to print on demand and, and having this kind of a business. Because if I was to do the same uh, go over the same stats for my Etsy store, my eBay store, let's say Redbubble or anything else, I would say that's fairly accurate. So if you're thinking that you're going to list, you know, 10 products or 10 designs and they're all going to sell, I would say do do some kind of a reality check. Be very humble in, in thinking about your designs and your plan uh, because the reality is very different. If I had out of the 6,000 products listed, even you know 3,000 selling right now, these numbers would be completely different. So if you were to ask me, you know, why, why is that number so much lower than, I guess, than expected, there's so many things that go into my mind. So, so number one, and again, I, I really like to be fair in my assessment. Uh, the designs could be crappy. So nobody's saying that my designs are uh, you know, great, right? The niche, for example, that I might be way off. Maybe, maybe people are just simply not interested in that kind of stuff. Uh, copycats. I could also be a copycat because, uh, you know, I don't always have uh, the most original designs. And, and that's uh, by choice sometimes because I see a design. And I'm like, you know what? I can I can improve this. I can, I can change it just a little bit. I'm going to get sales and I put it up. And, and I don't get sales. And sometimes I do. Sometimes I get more sales than the original seller, right? All of that goes into consideration when I'm looking at these numbers. So anyways, the, the one thing that I would say to you is uh, don't get hurt. Don't get disappointed 
if you have a thousand products up and, and only, you know, 60 are selling uh, because that's that's the reality of it. When it comes to percentages and, and the actual number of products that are sold, pop sockets, this is actually when my account started uh, really making some money for me uh, when when Amazon introduced pop sockets. As you can see here, uh, about 50, so 52 percent of my total sales are pop sockets. I have a few best sellers and I'll go into that where they've generated a big chunk of my profits. Standard t-shirts, 32% premiums. And then I won't go down the list because everything else is about 1% or less. Uh, top fit types, men, as you can see here, uh, is is double the women's. And then the, the colors here, I mean, black just... Uh, is outstanding and that's as expected uh, but then again as you can see here you know some other pretty standard colors are selling i would say if you had to go with five colors even though right now we have 10 choices i mean these are the five to go with and then don't forget white especially with your designs but again it's not as desirable as i as i thought right darker colors at least for my designs uh were it were a hit and then just the, in the interest of this video, we're already at 11 minutes. I will go over some of my top uh, designs here just to show you guys uh, the numbers when it comes to the numbers. So the, the best seller ever was a pop socket. This was on Amazon's uh, recommendation for, for a short while. And I, and I have 1,419 sales. Uh, total royalties of 3,000 bucks. So one product uh 1400 sales and then as you can see here the the other let's say the the next four are just a significantly lower number of sales it's it's actually what would that be uh, uh but a percent of of my top seller so the difference in sales is just drastic uh but again i'm not going to complain uh about having a t-shirt that sold 133 right and i i don't even know when i uh when i listed this it doesn't mean that it was listed in the in the first year it could have been listed actually uh i would say probably in the last year to to be fair um anyways you can pause and look at these numbers you can look at the colors but but that's that's pretty much the summary i'll just go back and and show this to you guys one more time so you kind of have a reality uh preview of, of what to expect if you're new and if you have been in this business uh, you know these these numbers were probably are, are completely different than mine but I, I would say we're pretty much in the in the same ballpark the only thing that I do admit and this was uh, again anyways uh, I just remember when I started uh, I mean merch had exploded at the time and people were you know saying oh they're making hundred thousand dollars you know, in like six months, and they they were they were talking about a uh, hundred thousand dollar royalties within the first year, and and I just remember being so pumped up. I was like, I gotta get into this, and then this was the reality for me. So I just want to give you kind of like a like I said a real life preview of what it could take, of of what it might take. Uh, again, these are very unique results. You you can do a lot better. Uh, you can do a lot worse, uh, you know, you, you really don't know. But anyways, uh, that said, I've, I've hit a 100,000 in sales. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Please uh, please let me know how you're doing. I'm actually curious. Is, is merch still as, as active, as, as, uh, as explosive as I, as I think? I think it's a great opportunity. I'll never say no to, you know, two, three, four, five hundred bucks uh, a month in royalties. I'll, I'll definitely never... Uh, say no to that, and uh, it's an exciting time. I'm at a, you know, tier six thousand. I just hit six thousand uh, sales. That means that I'm gonna be tiered up pretty soon, and I just hit a, a hundred thousand dollars in sales. Anyways, uh, I'll leave it here. One one more time. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys soon.